Hey mamas, so here's another update. So I'm five months pregnant. I am going in for my second prenatal visit at this midwifery practice for the for my local birth center. Praise God I have a birth center, uh, the only one in the state, so in my city, so like what a blessing. Um, and I am uh, excited. I am meeting with, so I wanna meet with all the midwives before my uh before i give birth just so that i get to know them also because that just helps with like a lot of my clients go to this practice so it helps to know the people providing the it helps to know the midwives and so i want to get to know all of them although i've worked with like about half of them i want to get to know them all so today is a new midwife that's new to me i have not worked with this midwife before um and you know you you always hear other people's feedback on how their experience went with a specific practitioner but it's always good to have that experience for yourself i have in hand my uh, my birth plan which i already have uh, it's pretty straightforward just do nothing um, that's that's my biggest thing and so i am looking forward to sharing it with the midwife today so she can put it in the records and they can have it and can all be fine and dandy so that's what we're doing today that is how literally my prep for today was uh, prayer this morning that it would go well I did a little bit I did some squats some um, I weighed myself so I wouldn't be shocked by the weight when they when I get weighed there um, and what else printed out my birth plan that's what I did I actually wrote my birth plan this morning um, it's easy because I already have like a, a template and stuff so I quickly just like wrote up my birth plan and um, printed it out so that I can bring it to them today and go through it with them and so and normally what I do or this is what I tell my clients to do is to pick one thing pick one thing that's important to you that you want to talk about so my last time I went I wanted to speak about the what are the rules and regulations around 41 weeks and uh like what are the rules and regulations like once you go past 40 weeks and all that stuff um and you know every practice has policies around you know after you go past your due date what do they want to be doing and all of that stuff so um i got to go through that so when do you start doing non-stress tests? When do I have to do a biophysical profile? When are you checking the, the amniotic levels and stuff like that? Um, when do I uh, when do I time out of being able to give birth at the birth center? All of that stuff. Again, things that I know from past clients, but things that you want to make sure you ask for yourself in case policy has changed, in case there's anything different about your medical records compared to your clients or anything like that. Um, you just want to make sure that you ask those questions. So that's my prep for today. I am going in feeling encouraged, feeling like I'm ready to advocate for myself this is probably the midwife I've been told that I would need to advocate for myself the most with just based on uh, what I've heard from past clients and, and things that have happened in births and that's okay I'm prepared for that and not worried so I will let you guys know how it goes but um, how has this been feeling well I'm just about 20 weeks I'm pretty sure and yeah 20 weeks and I feel good I um, my energy levels that were like super low at the beginning obviously had to do with my iron my iron is a little low but actually higher than it's been in all my past pregnancies so praise Jesus um, and I'm just keeping up on my iron um, trying to eat as many things as I can with iron just just not just taking supplements um, and really just trying to eat healthy focusing on my physical health I just this past week did one workout from my body ready method uh, program and so it did say to do two a week so I'm gonna do it again and hopefully I mean my goal is three times a week if I can get in a, a workout and then on the other days just making sure I'm walking so yesterday I walked 
walk to our mall. We have about like, we have um, over an acre. And so I just walked down with my children and then walked back up. Um, and it's it's a little bit, it's a incline. So we did that walk and I played outside with my children and um, just to get my body moving, just to make sure I was being physical. Cause honestly, all I wanted to do was sit. Um, so those are the things that I'm doing. Um, and I am going to also update my doula. Uh, I have to give her an update on uh, everything that's going on and um, go from there. So that's about it. I, um, yeah, I mean, that is my update for 20 weeks. Um, I feel good and I'm excited and I'm just in terms of prepping for birth I'm just focused on going to these prenatals and physical prep right now um, I have started to more intentionally pray um, around this birth um, and just asking God to show me show me what he uh, show me um, what he has for this birth so that I can really start going into the word around that. He always gives me a word. He always gives me a place. And so uh, I am starting to seek his heart for this birth so that I, I can prepare more intentionally and spiritually. Okay, that's it for this week. God bless y'all. And um, these will be as frequent as I, as I feel like there's something for me to share. Um, but thank y'all. God bless you. Take care. Hey mama, so thanks for sticking around to watch this vlog of what pregnancy has been like uh, with baby number four for this season, for this time while I'm sharing about this awesome birth story. I am offering my online childbirth education course for as little as $1 to give you access through the end of the year to get yourself educated on birth and pregnancy and postpartum so that you are, uh, you are prepared to have a supernatural positive birth experience with Jesus. And so uh, I hope that you'll take advantage of that. The link is down below. Thanks so much for sticking around to watch this video till the end and we'll see you in the next one.